remember that it is already a battleground remember that krishn himself has tried the utmost to avert war he himself had gone as a messenger to the court of duryodhan and tried his best now all that is behind before war the right action is please try to prevent war war means a lot of suffering on the battlefield now you cannot act like a peacenik now you have to be an eagle not a dove now you must fight आचार्य जी प्रणाम रमण महर्षि सेज द ओनली यूजफुल पर्पज ऑफ द प्रेजेंट बर्थ इज टू टर्न विद इन एंड रियलाइज इट देर इज नथिंग एल्स टू डू देन कम्स द क्वेश्चन आचार्य जी ड्यूरिंग रमण महर्षिज लाइफ टाइम देर वर पीपल हु वर सिंसेरली एंगेज इन स्पिरिचुअल परस्यूट्स एंड येट देर वर मैनी अदर्स हु डेडिकेटेड देयर लाइफ फॉर द कंट्रीज फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इवन सम सेंट्स चूज नॉट टू टेक पार्ट इन द अफेयर्स ऑफ द कंट्री and remain as they are and some saints chose to fight against the discreet manifestation of evil in the society how do we know that we have to be active participants in the affairs of the world or we have to turn inwards and realize how do i know if one is suited for karm or gyan these are not uh, really different when you say that the country needed to be liberated what is it that you exactly mean those who were deeply into the freedom struggle never said that their objective is merely the change of political leadership at the center they were very clear that the country is an organic entity and is represented by people and it represents a mass of people the country is the people so the liberation of the country is just another name for the liberation of the people when you say i am fighting for my country's independence you are actually fighting for the people's freedom and if one says that one is fighting for the people's freedom it is obvious that mere political freedom would be a very nominal freedom things have to really change from a state of bondage to a state of liberation for the common man 
that is what is meant by freedom right so when you say that you want the country's freedom you actually want the state of the country's residents to change from one of bondage to one of freedom now in what all forms does the common person in the country suffer bondage look at his life look at your own life is the bondage merely political is bondage or slavery or dependence merely political in fact political subjugation is a small part of the total set of dependencies that one lives in right it is just that political subjugation is often the most visible and one of the loudest elements in the overall set of forces that dominate and enslave us look at mahatma gandhi or look at bhim rao ambedkar or look at bhagat singh or look at subhash chandra bose or look at jawahar lal nehru or look at madan mohan malviya go and talk to them read them surely their agenda was not at all limited to driving the british away driving the british away might have been their immediate objective but it was not the only or the final objective there were a lot of things to be done once the brits were gone in fact mahatma gandhi resigned from the membership of the political party congress two decades before independence and he said that his work would now be about emancipating the masses from their inner bondages so he took up programs against the caste system towards empowerment of the village unit towards communal amity towards cleanliness towards a self sufficient village economy and such things right anybody who will go deep into the minds of the freedom fighters will discover that gaining independence from britain was just the starting point in their agenda 
and then there was a lot more to be done that lot more was already being done by ramana maharshi so ramana maharshi is actively contributing to inner freedom and passively contributing to political freedom and the active political freedom fighters are immediately and actively contributing to political freedom and potentially contributing to inner freedom because once political freedom is achieved it becomes easier to bring about other freedom centric changes in the society so both were doing the same thing be it ramana maharshi और बीट अब महात्मा गांधी और चंद्रशेखर आजाद और भगत सिंह इट्स जस्ट दैट द मीन्स वर डिफरेंट वेन रमन महर्षि लिबरेट्स यू फ्रॉम विद इन देन हाउ विल यू सपोर्ट आउटर सब्जुगेशन द वन हु हैज कम टू सी हिमसेल्फ as the ever free atma how will he now bow his head down to an external master therefore it is no surprise that many of the freedom fighters were deeply spiritual in their approach when you are spiritual then you know inner freedom when you know inner freedom then you give no importance to external bondages doesn't matter how lucrative they are or how overpowering they are are you getting it hmm? so ramana maharshi is liberating you from within the political activists the known freedom fighters they are liberating you from without both are actually attempting the same thing towards the same end which is complete liberation of the individual so do not try to see a division or a dichotomy here you have asked which marg path do i take karm or gyan it almost sounds like karm is the path of agyan the moment you say that should i take the path of karm or gyan you have made karm sound like agyan and gyan sound like akarmanyata as if the gyan yogi is the one who does nothing and the karm yogi is the one who knows nothing what kind of an impossible division is this gyan leads to the right karm and often that right karm is very vigorous very energetic very explosive at the same time the right karma yogi cannot proceed with his karm without realizing what karm is and to what 
end must karm action be made these two are one it's just that one starts from this place the other starts from this place but they meet in the same place they are attempting the same thing in fact they are walking down the same road it's just that one starts off keeping his left foot ahead and the other starts off keeping his right foot ahead so that is the great difference that you can find between these two both are walking down the same road towards the same destination one is walking left right left right left the other is walking right left right left right and you are saying see they are different how different are they how different are they hmm never say that the presence of somebody like raman maharshi does not contribute to the welfare of the country including the political welfare of the country even if he does not directly jump into the freedom struggle he has his own ways in fact he used to say he used to say how do you know that i am not bringing about a great social change by just sitting here it's a question of means there are those who roam about the entire country there are those who bring about a revolution by using bombs and grenades and guns and pistols and then there is the way of ramana maharshi he too is bringing about a revolution in his own way of silence that was his way the way of silence but do not think that his way was any less effective it was actually more effective it always has been more effective revolutions that start from inside revolution that affect the very core of man are always more successful then revolutions that seem to change merely the political order after all if the political order changes then you just change your master your political master your slavery remains the same and how does it help you if you just switch from one master to the other if you are to continue as a slave the white sahib went away we rejoiced and his place was taken by the brown sahib what kind of freedom is this if we are not gaining internal freedom it saddens me to say that indians are still one of the psychologically most subjugated and most subdued people in the world the imprint of years of slavery is still too thick on us politically and externally we might have gained freedom but internally we are far from free that doesn't mean that the rest of world is very free the rest of the world too lives in inner subjugations but we indians seem to be a step ahead of them as far as choosing slavery is concerned that is the concern of a saint the saint says of what use is political freedom if internally you still choose to be a slave of somebody worse still of what uses external freedom if internally you are a slave to yourself the worse slavery is when you are your own slave when you are a slave to your own ego when you are a slave to your own vrittis 
कार्नल टेंडेंसीज हॉर्मोनल अपसर्जेस सोशल कंडीशनिंग फिजिकल कंपल्सिवनेस वेन यू आर अ स्लेव टू ऑल दीज ऑफ वॉट यूज इज एक्सटर्नल फ्रीडम ऑफकोर्स इट इज ऑफ सम यूज बट वेरी लिमिटेड यूज मच मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज इनर फ्रीडम सो वेन यू हैव समबडी लाइक रमण महर्षि kindly do not try to draw a distinction do not say oh ramana maharshi did not do anything for the country's freedom there were others who were doing a lot not true it is impossible that you have somebody like ramana maharshi and he does not bring you to the truest of freedoms at the same time great respect is deserved by those who fought for freedom from the yoke of alien masters for an occupation because an external climate of political freedom enables inner freedom as well so these two go hand in hand it's just that even though these two go hand in hand among these two among inner freedom and outer freedom the more important one is inner freedom both are important inner freedom and outer freedom both are two sides of the same coin but if one has to choose between the two the more important one is inner freedom why is inner freedom more important the reason is very obvious please understand the world is a great system that you really cannot affect or control or determine you do not know what would happen next as we sit here an earthquake may strike us right now we have no control over that and there is very little predictability in life so external situations and circumstances and events cannot even be predicted let alone controlled however there is one thing that you can always be a master of what your inner self therefore those who have known the external world and the inner world have said both freedoms are important external freedom and inner freedom but external freedom would always remain a thing of chance a little dicey inner freedom is guaranteed you are your own master outside things can change by way of accident or coincidence inside no accident is possible without your permission inside you are the only one inside you are the ruler therefore if you have to choose between these two inner freedom and outer freedom choose inner freedom and if possible have both inner and outer both are important among these two more important one is the inner one right so ramana maharshi is every bit as much of a freedom fighter as the greatest name we can take in the glorious list of freedom fighters we have had right but in his own way in his way of silence in his way of inwardness getting it